How you doing, Mr. DJ back? It is, uh, let me get the autofocus corrected on this video. How you doing? Mr. DJ back, counting down my fancy playlist of March 18th, 1989. Seems like it's taken an awfully long time to count down this fancy playlist because it's a 45 song fancy playlist, but we're up to number 12. Levert. Gerald and Mark, well, no, it was Sean and Gerald Levert. And it's the, it's just cooling. It's a throwdown. Great. Got that classic 80s beat to it. That thunder, thundering 80s beat. Just Coolin' by Levert. Uh, their first album, I Get Hot. That was their debut album in 1985. And Bloodline followed in 1986. And The Big Throwdown, that was their big crossover album. That's when they came out with their huge crossover hit, Casanova. I believe it was around the spring of 1987. I remember hearing the extended version of Casanova with the extended uh, break at the beginning of the song, the drums. I remember listening to that on uh, 90, uh, 92 WTUG right here in Tuscaloosa back in the day. And uh, we got this song, uh, Just Coolin', at uh, number 12 on my fancy playlist. And uh, didn't even get the name of that album that that song came from. It was a huge R&B hit. It was uh, Heavy D's only number one hit. They did this song with Heavy D. Remember Heavy D and the Boys? They had that fantastic record. Uh, it was a crossover back in uh, back in the summer of 1991 it was called uh, now that we found love remember that one by heavy d and the boys or maybe it might have been just heavy d that was a remake of a well actually uh that song was written by uh Oh gosh, Gamble and Huff, Kenny Gamble and Leon Huff. They wrote that song. It was originally cut by the OJ's in 1973, but Third World had a disco hit with it around 1979. And Heavy D, boy, they they banged it up really good that one. But uh, I gotta tell you, they're all dead. I'm not kidding. I just found this out. In case you didn't know, I didn't know it. That uh, Jared Lafert, he died of a heart attack. Uh, over, it, he died of a heart attack that was brought on by, by an overdose of prescription drugs, and that was in uh, 2006, I think, if I read my chicken scratch correctly. <laughs> I can't read my writing. It was 2006. Okay. Sean died just a couple of years later. Sean Levert died. He was serving time in jail for uh, not paying child support. Very tragic. And Heavy D he had a blood clot in his leg. And uh, he had heart problems as well. He collapsed in 2011. He passed away in 2011. He was 44 years old. My goodness. I tell you what, they just all come and they go, don't they? But they left us some. They left us some hit records, no doubt about it. And uh, this record right here, just cooling, went to number one. Now back then. I hated what Billboard did back in the day. They called it the Hot Black Singles Charts. I'm just going to call it R&B. Went to number one R&B, just cooling. Didn't do so well on the pop charts, though. But, hey, I showed love with the R&B stuff on, the, on my fancy playlist back in the day. And Levert with Just Cooling at number 12 on my fancy playlist of March 18th, 1989.